Hello everybody, today I'm going to have a look at Walk the Plank. It's a fun family game for up to five players uh, that involves pirates. So, what's in the box? Okay, well the box itself is a, a little bit dull I think. I don't think it has a huge amount of shelf appeal. Uh, it could easily be hidden, so I think they could have made it a little bit more colourful. But uh, what's inside the box is a fantastic fun game. So let's start with the rules. Okay, not really much to them, as you can see you read those in a few minutes, uh, everything there explained, quite simple. You start with the deck of the ship, okay, double sided, for some reason that punches out, uh, not sure why, it's actually got a frame around it when you first get it, it seems a bit pointless. Okay, and that's where your pirate's set up. Also, you've got your sea monster, okay, nice done, nice bit of graphics. Uh, quite amusing. And that's where you're trying to get your opponent's pirates. Next, you get a set of cards. Now, there's enough cards for five people. Everybody gets the same deck. And that's the deck for the yellow player. I'll explain a little bit about the cards in a second. Next, you get a piece that tells you who the first player is. That passes round every time you've had a go. Uh, after a round the next player gets to go first. And then you get your three bits of plank. Okay, when you set the game up, it starts like this. Finally in the box, you get some pirates. Five different colours, three pirates for each player. You set them up on the plank, uh, on the deck of the ship, like so. Now the aim of the game is to be one of the last two players to have a pirate left uh, that's not that's not dead, okay? And you do this by playing cards to get your opponent's pirates into the sea to be eaten by the sea monster. Like I say, it's a lot of fun. It's suitable for families. Uh, it's pretty easy. And the way that you do it is you play these cards. Uh, you have three cards a turn, and you place them like so. Everybody places them face down, and then you go round, revealing the first card, starting with the first player, and everybody uses their cards. So there's a little bit of forward planning required, but it's also quite chaotic. Now, to give you an idea of what some of the cards do, uh, this card here is Retract the Plank. When you retract the plank, you take the bit of plank furthest away from the ship. Anybody that's in it falls into the sea monster, uh, and that disappears. You got charge. When you play charge, you move one of your guys further forward. But if there's a guy already on that space, you push him one forward as well, towards the sea monster. I don't want to die and run around. They're both cards that can help you escape. Okay, run around is a double-edged sword because if you haven't got anybody further out, one of your guys is actually going to run towards the sea monster. These three shove cards are central to the game. If you play shove left or shove right, you push either the person to your left or the person to your right one further forward, as long as you're on the same spot as them. So if I had a shove left and orange was my left and I was yellow, I would shove him one further forward. Shove anyone, you can pick anyone you like, no matter where they sat, so I could again say I'm yellow, I could shove him forward. The last two cards you've got are drag to sea and pull to ship. Now if you drag to sea, you take one of your guys, you pull someone else with you towards the sea, if you play pull to ship, you get one of your guys, you drag someone else, obviously in this case one of my own guys, and pull him back to the ship. Incredibly simple to play, very easy, uh, small kids can play it quite easily. There are some other rules. If you look at these guys with the uh, skull and crossbones on them, you can only play those once every other turn. So after you've played one of those, you have to take it out and put it to the side. Okay. The other rule is that the charge card cannot be played as your first card. If you could play charge as your first card, it would be too powerful. So you have to play a card first, then you can play charge second or third. That's it. Okay, it sounds simple, it is simple, it's a lot of fun, howls of laughter. Uh, because you've got a pre-plan, you don't always know what's going to happen because someone else might move your pieces around. So I've seen people commit suicide with all three of their guys accidentally, which of course is hilarious. Okay, I'd highly recommend this game to any group. It's a great filler, only takes about 15 minutes to play, uh, and I think everybody should have a lot of fun with it. One of those good uh, when you've had a few drinks as well, if you're playing with a more adult group. Uh, 
it helps if you're not too vindictive or that you don't take uh, take it to heart too much. But because the game's so fast, if someone screws you over, you can always turn around and do it to them in the next game. Hope you've enjoyed what you see, and I hope you like what's in the box. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.